Overall, Asana is better than Apple Reminders because it's a project management app. Even its free version has more features. However, Apple Reminders has some unique features that are worth mentioning. To conclude our three-part series, that's what we'll be focusing on in this video. If you've not seen the first two parts of this series, we recommend doing so to get a full appreciation of how these two apps differ. We'll have a link to those videos in the description down below. Hey guys, it's Roxy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Apple Reminders allows you to set location-based reminders that are triggered when you arrive or depart from a specific location, including your current location. Getting into or out of a car can also trigger notifications. It's easy to create a location-based reminder from the toolbar in the app. Unfortunately, Asana does not offer location-based alerts. You can also create message-based reminders. Apple Reminders alerts you when you are chatting with a predefined contact. Once again, this is something missing from Asana. You can set tasks to repeat every hour in Apple Reminders. In Asana, a daily cycle is the shortest you can set for a repeating task. For a Get Things Done app, this is a rare feature that we've only seen in Apple Reminders so far. Both apps can add subtasks that are as detailed as your main tasks. Asana even supports subtasks within subtasks, a feature you don't get in Apple Reminders. However, the app does not properly display the relationship between tasks and their subtasks on whichever view you choose. For example, on your lists, it doesn't even indicate the presence of subtasks. Converting main tasks to subtasks is easier and faster in Apple Reminders. The app also clearly distinguishes your subtasks from tasks, making the relationship easier to understand. Apple Reminders shows the total number of subtasks your main task has, whereas Asana only shows this in the board view only. Working with subtasks in Asana is a bit unpleasant. In Apple Reminders, you can save a list as a template to copy all its tasks. You can choose to even include the completed tasks, which helps. Templates are easily accessible on the toolbar. You can, therefore, create new lists in a few steps. It can save you a lot of time, especially when you have repeating projects. You don't get templates on the iPad version of Asana, and on the desktop version, it's a subscription feature. Editing templates in Apple Reminders lets you add more reminders, edit task details, change the name, color and icon of your list, delete reminders, and share the template. The home screen and workspace in Apple Reminders are combined into one minimalist user interface. You have two columns, a right one that shows all the tasks for a selected list, and a left one for navigation. Getting started with Apple Reminders is quick and simple. You have your default smart list at the top of your sidebar, and you can decide which ones you want showing here. You can also rearrange them and move your different lists to pin them at the top with your smart lists. That way, you can quickly access lists you're currently working on. It takes a while to get accustomed to Asana's user interface. Under the Home tab, your information is organized as favorites, recents, and all. Projects and tags are mingled in recents. 
To improve the app's user experience, Asana should separate the tags and projects. Adding a project to your favorites is a daunting task in Asana. A long pressing gesture would have sufficed. You'll find your scheduled tasks under My Tasks, which could have been easily mixed with Inbox to have everything you need to pay attention to in one place. Nothing about Asana's setup is intuitive, and that can be frustrating. In both apps, you can add tags to organize your to-dos and make them easier to find. Then all you have to do is tap on a tag to see all the tasks associated with it. In Asana, working with tags is difficult. Even adding them to your tasks. The app doesn't show you all the tags you have in the app, which makes it impossible to stay consistent. However, it helps that Asana uses colored tags, so tasks with tags display those colors, and you can differentiate them from tasks without tags. It's easier to add tags in Apple Reminders, more so now because the hashtag icon can be part of the top toolbar. You can quickly see all the tags or add a new one. Apple Reminders lists all your tags below your list on the sidebar. They are readily accessible and you can filter them to see multiple tags at a time. Apple Reminders has smart lists for your daily, scheduled, completed, flagged, and assigned tasks. It helps you find your to-dos faster. But if these default smart lists don't work for you, you can create smart lists using a lot of filters. For example, instead of just having a simple smart list for today, you can add a priority filter for today's tasks. That way, you can focus only on today's tasks with a high priority level. You can add as many filters as you need to define your custom list. Then you can pin them to the top of your sidebar. Efficient. In Apple Reminders, you can group your lists. For a new group, you can name it and add lists to it. In iPad OS 16, this feature has become hidden, which kind of makes it unpleasant to use. For existing groups, adding and removing lists is quite simple. So once you've created the group, it's easier to add and remove lists from it. And that brings us to the end of this comparison. Apple Reminders versus Asana. Let us know which app you prefer of these two. If you've missed the first two parts of this series, We'll have a link to those videos in the description down below. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.